Jeff, Browns uh, have already announced a couple of um, free agents that they have signed. One of them, um, a guy you thought they might draft in, in Marvin Wilson from uh, Florida State. Take us through that, um, how quickly they pounced on him and, and what you like about him. Yeah, so this was a guy that if you go back to to the predominant or the the crazy early mock drafts that come out and there's some out for next year already i haven't had to write one yet thankfully but uh uh when when they came out at this time last year marvin wilson was a name that you saw in the first round in some of those Uh, and he wound up going undrafted he's out of florida state he's a he's a run stuffing defensive tackle earlier in his florida state career he uh he also showed a little bit of pass rush juice but he's been hurt a lot and it really impacted his game he just didn't look like the same player that he was early in his career, especially this past season. Uh, he, 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 he's, he's a guy that you're taking in hopes that he can recapture the former greatness that he had. Cause this was a prominent recruit. This was a guy that, uh, you know, had a lot going for him and it just didn't, his, his college career just didn't pan out as it hoped. You're hoping that it works out for the Browns and, and that he can become a functional rotational piece on the defensive line. But th- this is a guy that they paid a lot of money to, uh, you go back a year ago when they, they paid out a lot of money to, to Alex Taylor, the, the the left tackle as a developmental guy, uh, where they had to outbid a lot of other teams. They did that this year with Wilson. He had a lot of different places he could have gone. He chose to come to Cleveland. The, the extra money certainly helps. But uh, effectively, they're paying him as a sixth-round draft pick. So that, that shows some level of commitment that uh, that Marvin Wilson is going to be around for at least a little bit in hopes that he can be the guy that he was in, in 2017, 2018 in, in Tallahassee because that, that guy is an NFL starter. The guy that we saw the two years after that, after the injuries piled up, not so much. But uh, the, the fingers crossed that it works out for him. Well, another guy is um, a cornerback from Miami of Ohio, uh, Manny Rigamba, and, and that's a guy that started his career out at uh, Iowa. So before you say, well, it's a Mac guy, he is a Mac guy, but he was also a Big Ten recruit. Yeah, he was, and he played fairly well at Iowa before he left. Um, the, uh, the opportunity uh, presented itself at Miami to get more playing time, and he took it. Uh, he's a guy that, that he, he did not run well at, at Miami's Pro Day. I think he ran a 4.77 in the 40, which is just not NFL caliber. Uh, and there's a lot of talk that he's going to transition to safety. Uh, and the way he plays cornerback, you can see it. So this is a guy that maybe you, you, you spend a year with him on the, on the practice squad, beef him up a little bit. I think he's at 198. If you want to get up to about 205. Um, and he, could, he has the, the hitting, the instincts in the run game, to, to switch to being a safety or a, a heavy slot corner, um, sort of in the way that, that, that MJ Stewart plays the role now. Uh, and maybe in, in a year or two, you've got a guy that, that can take over for MJ Stewart or push him off the roster um, with a little bit of a cheaper budget. So you're looking at a guy, again, low low expectations, but there's something there with Rugamba. And I say that I'm an Ohio Bobcat. It, it, it pains me to talk nice about, about some Miami players, but uh, I'll, I'll give it up to him. He, he's got a shot. Well, and, and keep in mind, you know, in, in a perfect world, the Browns would like to play three cornerbacks, three safeties a lot. So you're going to need raw numbers at those positions as well. Yeah, definitely. And, and again, just being on the practice squad with the, the amount of injuries they've had in the secondary, having healthy bodies back there just to, to practice so the offense can get their reps in, um, that, that's an underrated and underappreciated thing. Uh, that, that they learned last year the hard way. They, they were literally signing guys off the street at 10 a.m. to practice at noon so they could have enough guys to practice. Uh, let's hope they don't have run into that problem again, but a guy like Rogama can at least fill that role for him as a rookie.